Thank you, Richard. It's great to have you on our last session now here at the ITB convention. And as we've just heard, of course, the ITB is all about traveling different regions. We listen to different topics today at the Future Track Day. And with me now, because all good things come in threes, right? <laughs> I'm not by myself. I'm here with Dirk Rogel, member of the ITB Board of Experts, but also joined by Professor Dr. Harald Pechlana, Tourism Faculty Chair and Director of the Center for Entrepreneurship at Katholische Universität Eichstätt. And with you guys, I would love to look back into our morning session um, and then the lunchtime and the afternoon because there was such a full, not just a full um, hall, but such a full program day. So, of course, it's a difficult question, but I'm going to start with the question for the highlights. Is there anything that is standing out for you or is there anything that is really, you know, one of the highlights of the day for you. Who wants to start? Well, right. uh, thank you. <laughs> I uh, let me reflect the journey we made uh, this this uh, this morning. We started with the global roundtable. We moved to uh, to the future of mobility, and came now uh, finally uh, to the question: in what uh, kind China will be uh, of global importance in the field of tourism in the future? But coming back to uh, the Global Roundtable, I like this very much, Jeremy Sampson mm -hmm. uh, with the keynote, and they find the central question, how to become pioneers in transition? So this is for me still uh, the guiding uh, idea of this day, of this future track, uh, how to become pioneers and how to uh, manage transition and transformation. I would, so my reflection about that in, in, in a few words, uh, tourism is very often considered an adapter. Yeah? We adapt to new circumstances, political, economic, societal circumstances. We do our best to uh, go along with the societal uh, changes and transformations. But this time, things are becoming different. The question is probably, in what way tourism can become an agent of change. Uh, we are talking about uh, the uh, biodiversity issues. We are talking about climate change. Uh, we are talking about uh, the net zero objective. We are talking about sustainability objectives. Uh, probably tourism has to become a leadership in doing that together with others. Uh, so this time it's not anymore about adaptation, but this time it's about uh, taking, taking the leadership and uh, go with other sectors, other industries and uh, the societies uh, towards a new world. This is a future track and it's about sustainability and net zero as a, as a, uh, a big, uh, a big uh, objective for future. So running ahead, being a front runner and not just running yeah. behind. Is Absolutely. that something that I understood correctly? This for me the main message yeah. of this day. Interesting. Thank you so much for sharing you. your highlights. Dick, what is echoing in your mind? I mean, we've listened to so many different titles mm. and questions, and we had a lot of answers here on stage. What comes up to your mind when I ask you for a highlight? Things belong together, isn't it? And that's, I couldn't agree more to Harald. I mean, we have so many challenges in our industry, which is not big news. We know we have economic challenges, we have political challenges, and of course, we have sustainability as a core topic. And then we have to grab these things, and we have, there are lots of opportunities, and one great helper is technology. This, 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 this we have really learned today. Generative artificial intelligence is a great support for us. It can help us to reduce complexity and to make things simple again, and that's what we need. And it's ready, it's here, it's all over, and we dig deeper into that within the next days. That's perfect. Okay, so we've listened to what we've heard, but what is something that I would call homework? Is there anything that you note down for next year maybe to keep in our minds that is a homework for the industry, that is a homework to, you know, to think a little bit deeper into it and to look deeper into it because we've started the conversation. Is there anything that comes to your mind when I talk about, um, yeah, the to-dos, the homework notes? Well, Dirk uh, was talking about collaboration, mm -hmm. uh, which is really, really important. We learned it today also with uh, coming back to the discussions about uh, technology uh, developments, uh, AI and so on. Uh, I guess uh, what we have to do is to go beyond uh, tourism boundaries. Uh, and that we can do eventually with the idea of bringing forward 
uh, the production and consumption patterns in the field of, of sustainability. Yeah? So sustainability will uh, help us to bridge and to connect between tourism and other economic and societal factors. Uh, so this is for me a central, uh, let me say, transformation homework we have to do mm -hmm. as tourism. Uh, in coming back to the global uh, discussion, global panel uh, in the morning, um, the representative of the United Nations were talking about uh, the importance of monitoring. Uh, just to come down now to central project-based questions. Uh, monitoring uh, and creates uh, su sustainability uh, in uh, indicators and go to measure them in a regular way uh, increase uh, the knowledge via monitoring systems. This is not only for tourism, but also for all the sectors beyond tourism, really, really important. Again, this can be a way to achieve responsibility uh, and to be a leader in transforming and transition the world. Thank you. Harald, homework? Anything that comes to your mind? What is the homework? I think it's easy to <laughs> just quote Glenn Fogel, our CEO and president of Booking Holdings, and he said two things. First, do your job. Second, or three things. First, do your job. Second, think about the customer. Do customer centricity, which is always essential. And third, uh, adopt new things and do it, to do it proper. And he's right. And not, not being, do, being too fragmented in Europe, he also said. Pretty important. That's our core asset here in Europe. We have to be a little bit more open, collaborating, as Harald said. And then we're good on track. We're good and working as well in the travel industry, so no problem with that. So we have to get a little bit more out of the bubble as well, is that something that I understood correctly? Or also keeping in mind that we need to invite more people from different industries and bubbles? Probably, yeah. It's always good to have, to, to have some view out of the box. And uh, I think we're doing this already, but you never can do this enough. So yeah, good, good, good thinking, Gerti. Thank you. Well, this is um, the wrap up so far. Anything that we need to keep in mind over looking the next days or also what's coming to your mind when we look ahead into next year, ITB 2024. It's just around the corner at 25, <laughs> so to say. It's just around the corner. So what, what's important? I would what's say uh, last year we started to talk about chat GPT. This year, uh, AI uh, was in the center of the discussion. And uh, when I uh, think back to that, what we discussed today, uh, this is a paradigm shift, which we will now see. Uh, so technology uh, is, is driving uh, substantially the world, and definitely also tourism. Uh, and uh, let's see next year, the next years, uh, how the importance uh, of AI and all these further coming technological developments uh, will again substantially uh, change the world. Yeah. So I would say uh, the world we know today will not anymore be the world in one or two years. And Especially so when we talk about AI. Let us talk Absolutely. about the future of tourism, not only in a geographical way, not only in a technological way, but this, uh, let me say, front line between technology and society will be the, let me say, the, uh, the basis for further discussions on, on in what way tourism will uh, have an impact on societies. It's such an interesting moment of time, yeah. isn't it? It is. It is such an interesting moment of change. Yeah. Thank you so much to both of you, to Dirk Rogel and Professor Dr. Harald Pechlana. Thank you for this wonderful wrap-up, very inspiring wrap-up, going through our program day again. Stay with me again. And ladies and gentlemen from the audience here live on site, but also, of course, digitally joining us from whatever time zone you are joining us. Maybe you just have your breakfast or already your midnight tea. Thank you so much for joining us today. This was the Future Track Day. And I'll see you tomorrow back at the Orange Stage when we talk about marketing and distribution. So we're going to keep ourselves busy with lots of hot topics from the travel and tourism industry, and I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow. See you soon.